Now, a lot has been said about the strong relationship between poor core stability and poor core strength and low back pain, and there's no doubting this link. But what I wanted to talk about today was the strong connection between glute dysfunction and low back pain. Hi, I'm Wes Bishop from Northwest Physiotherapy Group. Now, what is glute dysfunction? Well, firstly, your glutes are made up of your main buttock muscles. So there's three of them that we can see here on the diagram. There's your larger glute, your medium-sized glute, and your smaller glute, and collectively we just call them the glutes. Now, a dysfunction of these muscles relates to one or uh, any of poor activation, poor strength, or tightness through these muscles, and often there's a combination of all three of those things. Now, in Western society these days, we spend a lot of time in sitting. A lot of time being sedentary. Now these are postures that the glutes aren't activating at all. So when we spend lots of, um, lots of time in sitting, the glutes aren't activating and they get significantly weaker over time. This correlates to a high incidence of low back pain within Western populations. And let's compare that for a moment to the indigenous populations of Africa, particularly the Khoisan people. Now, Genetically, they have much larger glutes, but they spend minimal amounts of time in sitting and minimal amounts of time being sedentary. They have high activity levels, and interestingly, they have no reported incidence of low back pain or hip arthritis. Now, there's obviously other factors that we need to take into account when looking at all the potential contributing factors or variables that might be um, related to someone's low back pain and, and to their presentation. But I think we can see from these examples that there's clearly a strong relationship between how well your glutes are functioning and having a glute dysfunction and potentially having low back pain. Now these findings are consistent with what we see in our clinic on a day-to-day -day basis. A lot of the clients that we see who present with low back pain also have a dysfunction through their glutes, whether it be poor activation, poor strength or tightness in those muscles. Now because of this strong relationship that um, is, is clearly evident, we thought it was really important to get this message out there and, and spread the word about this relationship and, and how important it is to have well-functioning glutes to prevent the likelihood that you, you may end up with low back pain. We hope you have found this information uh, really interesting and look, stay tuned for our next instalment. We're going to follow up with a couple of other videos that will go through some simple tests that you can do. Um, to test how well your glutes are functioning and also some simple exercises that can be done to, to build up the activation and build up the strength of your glutes. So until the next video, 